But we have, as I said, a couple of very special presentations to uh, uh, bring before you this morning. First up is going to be this. Um, as a church, uh, we are an elder-led church, um, uh, which means we, uh, we have uh, a group of men who get together uh, once a month, and uh, in between that, they lead the church, but they get together, and we pray over the church. We discuss all of the things like the paint on the wall. No, not that. Um, the leading of the church and the, the blessing and the ministry of the church. Um, and, and the process that we, to get there is uh, we, we have a certain process as a church. We believe it's taken from the scripture. And the first part of that process is uh, every once in a while we put out a call and say, hey, anybody interested in becoming an elder? This will be interesting because next week in Titus, we will be looking at that subject one more time. But I've always said this in the past. It's not like there's a lineup. I just want you ladies to know that and men to know that. Over the years, 15 years, every time we do put out a call for elders, it's not like there's a pile of people lining up. Okay? That's actually not good. But anyway, well, the reason for that is is that actually many of the, the men in the church, as they read the scripture, and I'm going to read the qualifications of an elder, they read this and they go, oh, Okay, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty important stuff. So the first step uh, is we ask whoever is feeling called to be an elder. In other words, the Holy Spirit is the one who does the calling, would come forward to myself, first of all, as the lead pastor, and let that be known. And then we'll have a little discussion. And, uh, and it, you know, if at that point I'm like, okay, then we will take it to the elders and we will invite that person to be part of what we would call elders in training. They also have to go through a six-week painful biblical eldership course. And uh, it's not painful, it's great. And uh, we go into detail about what these qualifications are. So let me read them for you. These are from 1 Timothy. um, And chapter 3, it says this. The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer or elder... He desires a noble task. Therefore, an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity, keeping his children submissive. For if anyone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? He must not be a recent convert, or he may become puffed up with conceit and fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must be well thought of by outsiders, so that he may not fall into disgrace, into a snare of the devil. So this morning, uh, I'm going to ask Nick, cool, to come on up. Everybody can give him a hand at this point. Heather, you can join him if you want. You want to come? Um, yeah, so this is, Nick, uh, is one of the originals at the Rock Church. Like, I, he came here, I think, when he was 13. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah, 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 you, 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 you were taller then. Okay, that's funny. Um, to, to help lead the worship at the Rock Church uh, with his brother, Andrew, and, and he's been here ever since, and he's, uh, all along throughout this whole process, I'm like, you know, every time we put out the call, I'm going, hello? <laughs> Are we hearing, right? Anyway, uh, it's just an awesome thing. Uh, Nick did come to the uh, elder and training course, eldership course, uh, last year, I think it was, right? We had that, beginning of last year. And uh, he's been praying about it. And as, as Heather, uh, together, they've been praying about it. Because, again, Nick, Nick realizes what, uh, what the call is and uh, the significance of that call. And so he's here this morning because we've passed the first step, and now he's going to go into elder and training. That can take anywhere from three, six, nine months. The purpose of that is, is that he comes to meetings with us, he, he joins us as elders, and he gets to see what eldership looks like when it comes to the meeting and the praying of the church, and we get to see him uh, as part of that process. And so it's an affirming thing for both parties. It's something for Nick to come to and, and be assured in his mind and heart that he is called to this. And then for the rest of us, the, uh, the five of us that are elders now, uh, to also be assessing him in that process. The final step will be, if we as elders are like, amen, and he's also amen to that, uh, then we will bring him forward to you one more time, and we will let you know at that time that we are affirming Nick as an elder, and there will be a 30-day, as you heard in that reading there, he must be well thought of as an elder outside of the church. And so there's a 30-day period that we give to our church, and we've done this with every elder, 
to uh, let us know your thoughts. <laughs> if there are anything concerns or any thoughts, um, and that means you know, how does he operate and function in the workplace? And uh, I think his boss is here today. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's the process. And so I want to ask, actually, I'm going to ask uh, elders that are present. Joey and uh, Gavin is here, I believe, as well. Um, Rudy as well. I'm going to ask, the, uh, Kevin is away this morning. I ask these guys to come on up. And yes, we can bring a daughter. That's awesome. And <laughs> we are going to lay hands on Nick and Heather, because this is a, this is a one flesh relationship here. Uh, Nick will represent as the elder, but they are in a marriage relationship. And that is really important to the eldership. So let's, uh, let's, you know, I'm just going to turn this mic on and I'm going to give it to, uh, uh, one of you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give it to Rudy. How about you, buddy? Would you like to just you give a prayer? I'll, I'll confirm that when you're done. Sorry, is this on? Okay. Father, we just uh, we thank you again for this couple. We thank you for Nick and Heather. And we thank you that we can just this morning bring them before you as both of them together are sensing this calling. Um, yeah, Lord, we know them. We love them. And... Uh, they are here for you. They are here for your church, to build up your church. And, and specifically in this point in time, yeah, Lord, Nick is uh, sensing your call uh, to step into that overseeing role. And, yeah, Lord, uh, I just thank you for that. Thank you for his obedience. And thank you for the overseeing that he, that he is already doing, uh, that he's already doing the work of an elder. Um, so, yeah, we just uh, thank you for that, and we pray your blessing over him in this process. We pray for your spirit to be at work in him. Um, yeah, Lord, come and give him guidance and give uh, us as leadership also guidance and wisdom as well as the church. Um, yeah, to just build him up and, um, yeah, to see him serve you well. I pray this in Jesus' name. Yeah. Uh, again, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this couple. Um, Lord, as we read in your word, uh, an elder is someone who, who is required to be apt to teach. And, and I, I thank you, Lord, for over the years how Nick has led out in missional community groups and has demonstrated how much he loves your word and that it is also on his heart at this time as uh, being an elder to begin to teach and preach in the church. And so, Lord, we look forward to those opportunities to hear his voice up here opening your word. So we pray. We pray for him in that way, for preparation and for guidance and for inspiration and illumination from you, Holy Spirit, as he studies and prepares to do that. So, Lord, again, we thank you. Uh, we welcome him and Heather into this role, and we just pray, Lord, that you would bless them in this time. And we, we thank you in Jesus' worthy name. Amen. 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 Thanks, guys.